Hello, my name is Rebecca. Welcome back to my grotto. For today's video, I am bringing you guys a book review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. This is a buddy read that I did with Jade um, from over at Sweet Pea Reads, and what a book. What a book. I'm just going to get started. So I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about this book. This book follows Austin, who is a very, very, very confused teenage boy. He is in love with his girlfriend, Shan, and also in love with his best friend, Robbie. He just doesn't know if he's gay, bisexual, or straight. So he's trying to figure that out. And while he's trying to figure himself out, chaos is happening. Uh, they are literally humongous, unstoppable praying mantises running around this town. So there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave you with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my what I didn't like, what I liked, and my overall thought and rating for this book. There was a lot of things that I did not care for in this book. First thing that I really didn't care for was the vulgar language. Now, I don't get offended easily. I usually don't care. I'm usually open-minded. None of that bothers me. But this book was too much. Too much. Like the first half of this book, all we kept hearing was about how horny Austin was. Actually, not even how horny. It was just him telling us he was horny. Yeah, that was it. Literally the most simple thing would happen that had nothing to do with like anything and he was telling us that he was horny it was so annoying it was to the point that i almost stopped reading the book but i pushed through and there it gets worse and it gets worse throughout the book like the first half is talking about how, that he's horny and then as we go on he starts talking about other things that i'm like okay this is tmi i don't need to know i don't want to know it's too much you're pushing it. Uh, maybe if had a little less vulgar or even if it just had been executed a different way, maybe it would have not made me feel like slapping myself in the face every time I read the word horny. It's, so other thing that I didn't really care for was some of the descriptive language in it. At the beginning of the book, it tried to give us some detail about some th of the places and like the location of this little town. And I didn't really understand at all. Like I still don't really understand what Grasshopper Jungle actually is. I had a really hard time like envisioning what it was telling me. They would tell me about like this specific place in the town or this bar that they were talking about and they would describe it like Andrew Smith would describe it and I just had like the hardest time envisioning it and I don't know why. I don't know if that was my own fault but then when I talked to Jade she kind of had the same issue I did so then I realized that it must have you know it must be something in the writing um, or the way it's written. It just didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I wish it was a little bit more descriptive. I wish there would have been, you know, would have talked a little bit more about the location, about what Grasshopper Jungle actually is, or maybe I just completely missed it. Um, it just, I don't know. A lot of it, I felt like I didn't really understand what was going on. Speaking of not understanding what was going on, Austin in this story talks a lot about his family history, and he goes back to like his great, great, great grandfather. And when he's talking about his great, great, great grandfathers, um, it, it was all really confusing because all the grandfathers had very similar names and he would start talking about them randomly and it just felt so irrelevant to the story. It felt like it had nothing to really do with anything and they were just thrown in there to kind of maybe make like the book longer. I don't know why, but I didn't really care for it. I didn't care for all that family history, all that unnecessary family history. It would just seem like too much. On top of not knowing which grandfather Austin was telling us about, he would then like combine the present by like talking about someone that was currently doing something else somewhere else in town, if that makes any sense. And they would just kind of all get braided in. And it was all too much. Like it was so confusing. Half of the time I was like, what? And I just had to keep going back and reading it because I just, I was lost. I didn't know who half of these people were. I didn't know how it tied in into the book. It made no sense. It just seemed like it was not necessary for it to be there. The one thing that I wish we would have seen more of in this book was um, more of Austin's friend Robbie and Austin's friend Shannon. Um, we don't really get to know them very much. Like we know that Austin's hanging out with 
Robbie and you do get to see Robbie a little bit and you know a little bit about Robbie mostly because of what Austin tells you like we know Robbie's good looking and he's sweet and everybody likes him but that's about as much as I know and for Shan which is Austin's girlfriend I don't even know anything like there wasn't anything for me to learn about her all i know is like the size of her boobs because austin told me several times what her size her boob size is but other than that i know nothing about shan it really bothered me that we didn't get to really meet shan and robbie because maybe it would have made the flow of this book a little more different and maybe i would have enjoyed it a little bit more who knows let me tell you about the character development in the story oh wait there wasn't any I think this is one of the things that like really pissed me off and I think it's because I had read this book I had gone through pushing myself like to just get through this book and at the end of it I didn't even get to see these people grow as characters Shan Austin and Robbie were literally the exact same people that they were at the beginning of the story and yes some time had passed it had been like a six year span there that had happened and after six years it was still literally the same characters I still knew nothing about them they still were exactly the same they were doing the same thing and it really bothered me because it's like there was no reward in reading this book it was just like meh so that really got to me as you could tell I feel like I'm getting angry talking about this book one of the things that like really got to me, even though I just told you that everything got to me, but this one I think was like really made me steam. The way Austin acts, he is very selfish. He doesn't really care about, he doesn't really think about um, Shan's or Robbie's feelings. He's just very about what he feels, what he wants, and it it really pisses me off because like I said in the beginning he is confused he doesn't know if he's gay he doesn't know if he's bisexual um, or straight he doesn't really know what he is or how he feels and so while he's trying to figure this out he doesn't take into consideration anybody else's feelings so he's you know kissing Shan but then he's like doing things with Robbie and things are happening with Shan and things are happening with Robbie and of course you know like Shan's gonna get upset and Robbie's gonna get upset so it just really pissed me off that he was going around doing all these things but not thinking what his actions were causing. And I felt like it wasn't very true to someone who was finding themselves. Like if someone is confused or if someone is trying to discover who they are, I I don't feel like people act that way. I don't feel like people act recklessly like that. And it just kind of really pissed me off because it wasn't realistic. It wasn't how a person would be. At least I would hope not. He was just basically an asshole throughout this whole thing. and. It was so unnecessary. I feel like the word that I used the most for this book is unnecessary. Moving on to the things that I did like about this book. Well, here's the sad part. There's actually only one thing that I really enjoyed about this book and I wish there would have been so much more. And that is the ginormous praying mantises. Come on, huge praying mantises running around? Yes, I mean don't get me wrong if that was real I would have probably crapped my pants, but just the thought of it sounds fucking awesome I wish this book would have been more about the praying mantises. They were running around town. They were killing people. They were Breeding they were doing things and I just really liked that part. I also really liked um, How the mantises came to be which was really interesting I really wish it would have just focused a lot more on that and it would have focused more on trying to survive this like praying mantis apocalypse um, But unfortunately, I just felt like there wasn't enough of it, which is kind of a bummer But I did really enjoy that concept of the book. I felt like that was really different. And it was very unique as you can probably tell by now I didn't really care for this book. Um, I know Jade feels the same way. I know she really did not like this book. I absolutely did not like it either. And I just, I read it. I'm glad I'm done. I'm moving on. It's, it's done. It's funny though because I was really confused as if I liked it or not. When I first finished this book, I still didn't know if I liked it. I really enjoyed the Praying Mantis part and I kind of was feeding off of that. But when I stopped to think about the book as a whole, I actually realized that I hate it. So I ended up starting with a three star rating. But then as I thought about it more, I brought it down to two. And it's only two because of the Praying Mantis. But other than that, I just, it wasn't my thing. Um, I felt like it was trying to be quirky, but it, it 
it was like the wrong kind of quirky and it was just not for me I know that the people who have read this and loved it have really loved it and then there's people who read it and absolutely hate it which is kind of what I think I fall in now now that I've like had some time to think about it you know sometimes you're gonna get a rotten egg and you just gotta move on that is it for this review I'm a little sad I didn't like it but that's okay I still had a lot of fun buddy reading this book and you know if you guys pick it up or if you guys have read this let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are because I haven't really met a lot of people who have read this before so I'm kind of curious to what you know what the word in the street is regarding this book don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>